everything from China-U.S. ties to the Taiwan question, the Russia-Ukraine conflict, and the Belt and Road Initiative. During the two-hour news conference, Chinese Foreign Minister Qin Gang responded to a total of 14 questions, providing a wealth of information regarding China's foreign policy and external relations. And it's also Qin Gang's debut appearance at the two sessions after he was appointed as the new Chinese Foreign Minister. Recalling conversations with U.S. residents, including workers, farmers, scholars, and students, Qing Gang said the China-U.S. relationship should be determined by the common interests and shared responsibilities of the two countries, as well as by the friendship between the people of the two countries, rather than by U.S. domestic politics or what he called the hysterical neo-McCarthyism. The United States claims that it seeks to out-to-compete with China but does not see conflict, yet in reality its so-called competition means to contain and suppress China in all respects and get the two countries locked in a zero-sum game. When asked about the Taiwan Strait, Qing Gang took out the Constitution of the People's Republic of China, stressing that Taiwan is part of the country. He emphasized that the Taiwan question is at the core of China's core interests and the first red line that must not be crossed in the China-U.S. relations. Qing also reiterated China's stance on the Ukraine crisis, calling for calmness in dialogue. He said the more unstable the world becomes, the more imperative it is for China and Russia to advance their relations. Some countries who are inclined to view China-Russia relations through the lens of Cold War alliances see nothing but their own image. The China-Russia relationship is based on no alliance and no competition, and it is not targeted at any third party. It is not a threat to any country, nor is it subject to any interference or disclosed sound by any third party. This year marks the 10th anniversary of the Belt and Road Initiative. The foreign minister said China will host the third Belt and Road Cooperation Forum for international cooperation this year. In recent years, the foreign minister's press conference has been one of the most anticipated events during the two sessions as the outside world hopes to glean some insights into China's diplomatic trends from the responses. World major powers, including China, are challenged by the continued international unrest and uncertainty. But China is always ready to play a more active role in preserving world peace and stability. Some analysts say now that the country has contained the COVID-19 pandemic, it's time to focus on accelerating development because, as an ancient proverb says, if a tree's roots are deep enough, it won't fall, no matter how strong the wind is.